James Watt was the father of the Industrial Revolution, an inventor, engineer, and a scientist who improved the steam engine. In 1750, India accounted for close to 25% of the world GDP, with the East India Company being formed in 1600. Cotton started gaining popularity in Britain, and by 1664, the company was importing a quarter of a million pieces into Britain. The demand kept rising well into the 18th century and beyond. In 1776, in Big Lolly City of Duwaki, alone 80,000 women spun cotton for 25,000 weavers who produced approximately 180,000 pieces of cotton. The watershed moment came in 1757, the British East India Company, with the help of the insider Mir Jafar, defeated Nawab Suriji Duwala in the Battle of Plassey. The cartoon has been drawn by someone who was obviously very critical of John D. Rockefeller's policies. It was drawn during the height of the Rockefeller's power and wealth. The cartoon shows Rockefeller as a giant, completely in control of the Supreme Court. Socialism emerged as a critique of capitalism. Marxism began essentially as a reaction of the Industrial Revolution. According to Karl Marx, industrialization process as the logical dialectic progression of feudal economic modes necessary for the full development of capitalism, which he saw as itself as an essential precursor to the development of socialism and eventually communism. The spinning jenny, one of the most important devices which brought advancement in the production of textiles in the Industrial Revolution, was invented by James Hargraves. The machine was eight spindles on which the thread was spun from the English set of rovings. Hargraves was never awarded the patent. At the time of his death in 1778, around 20,000 spinning jennies were being used in Britain, but unfortunately, Hargraves died as a poor man. Women and children were often employed in textile industry during the first century of industrialization. The spout routinely working 16 hours a day or longer. They typically were paid little. Industrial Revolution working conditions were extremely dangerous for many reasons, namely the underdeveloped technology that was prone to breaking and even fires and the lack of safety protocol. It started around 1760 in England and was categorized by a shift in population from rural areas to urban areas. Factories were dusty, dirty, and dark. The only light source was the sunlight that came in through a few windows. Many people ended up with eye problems because there was smoke everywhere and because of the machine ran on steam from fires.